Hey beautiful people, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make like this type of similar website absolutely free. And if you watch this full video, I'll give you this website full source code and uh, the website feature and how to install this script and everything, every data I'll show you, okay? Let me show you first the website feature. First as you can see here as you can see the, your website name and here some details and here the two button and that is free shipping and another is earn money. So if you create any free shopping campaign you can easily just link that link this link in your this button you can easily do that and here as you can see this top up game top up and here the popular top up so if someone click on this free fire or pubg mobile all right so as you can see when someone click on this it directly uh, redirect this page and here the, your usd like something uh if someone buy you want to buy like uh, 20 diamond it's take only uh 15 taka something our country calls taka that's why i just put here you can easily change it to uh, dollar or indian rupee uh, as you wish okay so when someone select that thing select the select this diamond uh, how much diamonds you need just select this and click on this add to cart button and here as you can see description additional information and review everything are present here okay so when someone uh, click on this it's automatically redirect in this uh, payment the, yeah, the option the input ID and email address something and here the products details everything and if you want to go to this card page you can easily go here and you can easily show here like this card page okay I hope guys you understand here the another option is shop here as you can see this shop page and total all product and here another option like filter option price filter and the uh, product category everything are present here okay here as you can see uh, as you can see here like this recent post quick links and another mobile number email and here the quick links and everything you can edit here okay everything you can edit here so another option is uh, the another is registration page and login page and another some you can easily change as you wish you can do everything in this website okay so as you can see here the login uh, username and password and everything now let me show you how you can install this website full full data in your server okay so when you are thinking you need a website that time you need a domain and hosting okay so how you can buy this in in the video last i will uh, share with you how you can buy domain hosting and i'm just continuing this video so i'm just uh, when you buy this go to your C panel and click on this file manager option when you click on this file manager option you need to go to your public HTML okay so I already created a subdomain that's why I just uh, go to my subdomain and I want to install this subdomain something like this let me show I want to install in this website okay as you can see here and a euro showing like euro so no problem I'll fix this okay so first I need to upload here the file so select file and upload the full file i will give you this um full website zip just you need to extract this file and when you extract this then you'll uh, see like this two file just upload this two file in your server if you want to download this full zip file check my video description i will give you this link okay all right so now we need to create one thing uh, basically is it's a name database okay so we need to create a database so i just go to my cpanel again and click on this mysql database open a new tab and input here your database name just i input my database name is this and create database i create the database and go back and again go to your this user paste on here password and again paste up password and input here your username I input the same name and click on this create user. Once it's done, just go back again and scroll down, scroll down, and then we'll see add user on database. So here you need to select the user. So create this user, and I recently create like this uh, database. So I click on this add button. It's automatic connect our user and database in one. Okay. So as you can see, it's automatically now connected. All right, so when it's done, then you'll see it's now green, and I just close this tab, and go to my server again, and click on this go button, and I will see a uh, two file are present here, and what I need to do here, okay? 
So reload your website. Um, it's not my website. <laughs> this is our website, I think. All right. So when you go to this, uh, then you'll see a two file present here. What do you need to do? Just click on this installer one dot like this file. Okay. When you click on this, then you'll see it's uh, now uh, open like something like this. And just you need to click on this. I have read this access something in there and click on next button. And it's take some seconds to extract all file and uh, just we need to add like this user and that is something like this so i just copy here and select your local host and paste here your database name your database username i just input here my username i recently created a database you know that all right so i just paste here the name and paste the password and test database i need to check test that it's everything as well or not once uh, check that passed on good just click on this next button and click on ok and never one installation done uh, I think ok so if you want to change your title website title uh, I, I try to say your something like your and click on next all right so when it's just done just click on this admin login something here and you need to input username and password and username is password is this admin username and password is md adjoin so just click on this login button all right so as you can see uh, already our cleanup but we need to check again everything delayed or not delayed like this uh, i just again go to my website and click on this go button and it's take some seconds and i need to check here uh, as you can see the installer.php just we need to delete this file because if i uh, uh, not remove it's but if okay so it's now removed just again click on this go then you will see it's now removed i think uh, the our website now safe and uh, if i open a new new tab or site then you'll see our website everything and it's looking like the world website okay as you can see this type of website so scroll close this all tab here and this is a home page and if you want to edit anything else you can easily use edit elementor you can easily edit anything you'll just click on this edit elementor then you'll see uh, like then you will edit everything every single thing okay so uh, let me show you um, another like how you can add the product if you want to add new product or any other product you can easily just click on this all product button or product and click on this all product then you will add or delete the all product okay so okay so all right so if you want to edit this home page just click on this edit home page and then it'll, it's redirect to Elementor and you can easily edit this home page. Okay, so here are the um, product page. Basically, this is product page and this is how all product are present here. As you can see, all product are present over here. Uh, if you want to add any new product, just click on add new product and the category, everything are present here. Okay, so here the post option. If you want to add a new post in your website or everything, uh, you can do that. All right, so. If you want to create a new page or if you want to change the menu bar, if you want to change the menu bar, just uh, hover on this appearance and click on this menu, then open a new tab. And then you'll see the total all pages, just click on this view all pages, then you'll see the all pages. You can easily add and drag and drop add here. Okay. You can easily add any new page or new menu of here. Okay, so if you want to add any new page, just click on these pages and add new. Then you can you can edit the uh, and if you want to edit any specific page, you can just select here the page and click on this edit button and you can easily edit this that thing. Okay, here as you can see when I uh, when I when as you can see here the Elementor. That means if you click on this edit with Elementor then you will see a page like this and you can edit everything if you want to change this uh, website name you can easily change here so you input here like this space you can easily change that thing okay so if you want to change this button link redirect link you can easily check that link you can easily change here the link and everything everything you can do this okay so if you want to see this website responsive or not responsive let me show you it's 100% responsive so don't worry about that this website okay so click on this let me show you uh, this is a home page and uh, this is a home page total all product and everything everything you can 
check here okay everything are present here i hope guys you understand that thing like how it's work and uh, how you can add a new product or how we can add everything okay if you like this video just click on this like button and if you new here in my channel so please consider and subscribe uh, if you got any problem or any error just tell me i will try to help you to do this and uh, if you need any any another website or if you want to design any website you can easily hire me because I when you think you need to launch your website that time you need two basic thing one is domain and another hosting let me explain you uh, about domain and hosting if you know facebook.com google.com basically this is a domain basically this is a name and hosting that means in a server your website all information are stored in this hosting hosting means you buy 20 gb or 50 gb online storage or online server your website all data located or storage in this server if you notice that if you upload one photo in facebook this photo is storage in facebook hosting or facebook server i think you understand our likes domain and hosting now let me show you how you can buy a domain and hosting please check my video description i give you an a website link like domain hosting just click in this link then when you click on this then you'll see a piece like this and just you need to search your domain name something i just search here like this dot com and click on this search button when you click on this search button then you'll see it's take uh, 8.88 dollar per year okay and click on this add to cart button or if you want to search, uh, finding out any another website you can easily finding out this and when you click on this then you'll see here some and as you can see here as you can see some uh, thing like this is web hosting this is vpn and this is uh, positive ssl and this is professional email so just we need to buy this hosting also we don't need this positive ssl because namecheap give every user 50 ssl okay so just click on this plus icon and here as you can see this view item just click on this view card or click on this checkout option and it's total take 26.34 dollar uh okay all right so as you can see here another option one month and one year uh, when you buy any hosting must be select here one year because uh if you select one every one month that means you need to pay in every month and it's a uh, uh much money something like this so please select here one year and I uncheck this uh, auto renew and if you have any promo code just uh, put in a promo code and click on apply and if you want to get any new new promo code just please subscribe my channel if I got any new promo code I will share every I will share my YouTube channel so please consider and subscribe my channel all right so when it's done just click on this confirm other button and here as you can see this username that means you, ne you need to uh, fill up this form okay so input your username password and here the first name last time and the e email address must be input here your valid email address because they are verify you that means when you create an account they will uh, send an uh, email in your account so uh, when they are sending a mail uh, you need to verify that thing okay so must be select here uh, this va valid email and to the username username uh, try to input your name something like this uh, alright so thanks for watching this video if you like this video just click on this like button and if you new here in my channel so please consider and subscribe my channel thank you